Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Happy first Monday of April 4th, 2022, that is. And welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Hadley. Yes, happy fourth quarter. Hi, I'm Khadija, and let's please all unite and honor our free America by standing in place in our hand over our heart as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Way to represent your favorite college gear today, some of you, as we celebrate the end of March Madness and congratulations to South Carolina women's basketball team on their 64-49 win over UConn this weekend to earn the NCAA National Championship title. And good luck to the remaining men's team that battle this evening for the NCAA National title. Eighth seed, North Carolina, Tar Heels, and number one seed, Kansas Jayhawks. Yes, go teams, but what in the world is a Tar Heel? Well, according to Wikipedia, Tar Heel is a nickname applied to the U.S. state of North Carolina, hence the nickname of the University of North Carolina athletic team, students, alumni, and fans. The origins of Tar Heel nickname trace back to the North Carolina prominence in the mid-18th to 19th centuries as a producer of turpentine, tar, pitch, and other materials from the state's plentiful pine trees. Tar Heel was often applied to the poor laborers who worked hard with an amazing never-give-up attitude to collect and burn pine trees, logs to produce tar, pitch, and turpentine, which is the important source of the naval stores, especially for the Royal Navy. Tar and pitch were largely used to paint the bottoms of wooden ships, both to steal the ships and to prevent shipworms from damaging the hulls. Oh. oh, thanks. Very interesting. So a tar heel boils down to a hard worker's heels having tar on them? Well, go teams and may the best team win. All right, as you may know, air testing is coming up next week. So our counselors want to share some great tips for us. Tip number one, read the test directions and questions carefully and watch for details. There may be times when you find more than one possible answer on multiple choice tests. A key detail in the directions may require you to choose a specific answer. Oh, good to know. I'll keep that tip in mind. Next, National Day. Today is National School Librarian Day. National School Librarian Day recognizes the professionals who keep the school library in working order. School librarians spend long hours keeping the library organized. They are also de dedicated to helping our children find the resources they need to keep learning. School librarians are the people who create an environment where students can learn every day of the year. Their work is an impressive accomplishment. So whenever you can, make sure you stop at the Media Center and thank Mr. Villani and Ms. Carter for everything they do for us. Thank you, Mr. Villani and Ms. Carter. Thank you, Mr. Villani and Mrs. Carter. Also, make sure to thank our assistant principals, Mrs. Bernowski and Mr. Lavercombe for National Assistant Principals Week. Thank you so much for all they do. Today's daily survey. So, Friday survey asked about April Fools and the results show that 79% of you were going to or had already pranked someone for April Fools. And 21% of you did not get pranked by anyone for April Fools. I know even some teachers got pranked. Shout out to Mr. Stinson who gave his class a pop quiz prank. Don't forget to check out today's daily survey posted in Google Classroom. The results for this survey will be shared tomorrow. Also, nominate your flex classrooms and or school organizations that would like to lead us in the Daily Pledge of Allegiance. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Sophia C. We hope you have a wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your video announcements. All right, we the people, you got a busy week coming up. Your competition is Friday. You need to turn all of your forms in um, this morning, so as soon as possible, to Mrs. Carter in the Media Center. You will be meeting Thursday morning to rehearse all of your parts, and please be meeting with your units throughout this week. The Friday report time is 7 a.m. in the front lobby to catch the bus, bring money for breakfast, and a game to share for buys during the day. Remember, this is a dress-up event, so let's look good for We the People on Friday. All right, yearbook deadline is uh, April 15th, so that's be the last day to purchase your 2022 Sycamore Junior High yearbook, all right? Cost is $35. There is the link right here that you can go and order your yearbook, and if you have any questions, see Mrs. Spielman about that. 
Here in Real Golf, you're going to meet today in the back gym from 315 to 430. So check that out. If you're still interested in that and you want to try to do that last minute, that Google Classroom code is right there, the QA32QWO. And last but not least, this is very important, so I need everybody to listen, all right? Air testing is just around the corner, and it's a very important time here at school, all right? So we want to provide you, our school counselors want to provide you some great test taking tips all right so today's tip is is to read the directions uh, and the questions very carefully and watch for details so there might be times when you find there's more than one possible answer on a multiple choice test and a key detail in the directions may require you to choose a specific answer so take your time read the question read the directions and pick that specific answer that they asked for in those directions we'll be coming to you with more uh, tips for air testing as the week goes on that's all for me you guys enjoy your day and i'll see you tomorrow what's for lunch today for lunch we will have the boneless wing bar we'll also serve hamburgers and cheeseburgers interesting did you know that ramadan started on saturday i did good luck to everybody that's fasting this month happy ramadan now for the joke of the day What's an astronaut's favorite part of a computer? I don't know, what is it? The space bar. <laughs> <laughs> Go Waves!